Okay, good day, fellows. Uh, I'm back again with the second part of my earlier video, where uh, now I am going to show you how you can set up a new quiz to your class, then assign that quiz to your students, and then get the, their feedback, and then check those quizzes and return the marks to those students. Right, so first of all, you will go to the desired class. Here I'm going to select uh, the class, which is a demo class, like the personal lecture video. There's no students in here. And then I go in the assignment tab. Because I have conducted a few quizzes here. Uh, not in this group, sorry. So we will create a new quiz. So go to create and select the quiz. Once you click and click on this, you will see this pop in. Add the quizzes you create in Microsoft Forms to your assignment. If you have already created the quiz, which I, I have, but I will show you how to create it from the scratch. So you click on the new form here. Once you click on the new form, a new window will open. OK, let me change the view in the screen share in a second. All right. I hope you can see the video in the, the browser now where I have uh, remember I clicked on the new form so we come here. So we click on the new quiz here if you if we want to create a quiz. Right? So we click on this quiz. And this is our blank quiz. We give the name any name we want like quiz 1 to 1 to 5. For example, you want to take the quiz from this, right? And then you click on the add. Now you have the, all the options to make the questions. There's a choice. It could be multiple choice questions or true false questions. You can make the questions with the descriptive answers by using the text, the rating, date. Uh, you can make a, a Likert or, or many other things, right? So we keep it simple at the moment. So what I do, I now select like the choice and then give the question. This is my MCQ question. What are the bones made up of? I said calcium, magnesium. If I want to add more options, right. Fit. All right. I give the which one is the correct answer. I select this one. So this question is saved. In point value, I give it to one. Right. And I ask make it required. So student cannot skip this question. Right. And I select shuffle options. So every student will give and get the different order of these questions. Then I take another, I make another question. I make it cartilage is of right, and I give the answer true or false. And I know this is true, so I set it that, that way, and that is, that's it. So once you're done with all your questions, you can simply go back to your window. OK, let me change the view now.
All right. So we go in the team in the teams again in the class and we select assignment, select create again. Right, so select create quiz. Right now you will see that quiz which I just have created quiz one, lecture one and five. You select that quiz and click next. Right here you see the quiz title is the same as you have made earlier and this is the attachment of that form which we just have created. Right, so you can assign it to the, any group you want. Like I'll keep it over here. Assign it to all students, same. You want to assign it right now and deadline is this one. You just hit assign and this quiz will be assigned to the students and they can see it in, in the general channel of your class. Did you see? Once the student will click on that. And I show you the student view. They will come up on this window and they just have to click on this. The quiz will be displayed to them and they will select an answer. This one and this one, right? So just to make you uh, understand, I just click one correct and one uh, wrong answer and they will click submit. Once it is submitted, they can view their results straight away that they have scored one by two points. And what happens to your portal when you see in your portal? Here you see the quiz one and you see zero out of zero turning because no student has turned it uh, returned the quiz, but once they have you will see the list of the students who have attempted that quiz and you can return their quiz straight away. Right, so I show you the actual quiz which I have taken from my class for an example and you can get more clearer idea. I go in the assignments. And uh, say, for example, I see this cartilage uh, cartilage quiz here, which students have returned. You see to grade because if I haven't graded any assignment, they will be shown into grade options because and but I have changed. I have checked them all. So they are in the graded assignments as graded quizzes. So there you see my students have scored 13 out of 14, 13, 14, 8, 14, 14, right? So if you want to see the quiz which I have taken, uh, go in the students view and I'll show you the quiz. So I made like 10, 14 questions. Students have attempted those and then I have checked and returned the results. Right, so this is the whole quiz here. Right, and once they submit, I get it over here and then I check them and return their results. I can even review their answers. If I click on their name, I can see what they have selected, how they have attempted that quiz. Once they, I'm done with that, I can send it back to them by returning that assignment because it is already returned. You cannot see the option, but once you get the new assignment or the quiz solved by the students, you can see the option of return here. And again, when I go to the grades, after return assignments, you can see the students marks and grades for each and every quiz or. Uh, assignments they have done, right? So there you see this is the quiz, the cartilage where the students have scored different marks. I hope this video will be helpful to many of us. So if you have any question, don't hesitate to uh, ask me. All the best and take care, Allah Hafiz.